your goals are always to make your, your kids, your players as good as they can be, as, to grow them as, as much as they can be as a player or a, a person. And we're, we're talking today about, about building a player and how a coach can, can impact uh, the building of a player, to make them better, to make them a, a more talented, a more complete player, but also while you're doing that, finding out that he's going to become a more complete and a better person. It's really quite remarkable the, the differences that you see in kids and I'm sure most of us here have kids and you know I have young kids that are 7 and 10 and older kids that are 25 and 29 and to see the difference when they're 12 to 14 to 16 and most of the kids spend as much time with you guys as they do with their parents in an individual setting or their teachers. It's, it's really... It's really bigger than, than just about the game. Now, it's really complicated to build a player because the player's not a robot. You can't just go in there and tweak a few things. And there's not one perfect way for any or for all players. And that's really, a, really the tricky, most difficult part is you've got to find a way to connect to each and, and every player that, you, that you're coaching. And some are going to be more easily accessible. Some are going to be a real challenge. That's that's just the way it is. But you have to set a road for the player to see where he can walk down that he can be successful. And the road is a plan. The road is not changing every 20, 20 minutes. I mean, you get in your car, you punch in your destination, and you know where you're going. If you get in your car and you don't punch in a just destination, you're just driving around. And for a lot of these kids, they're teenagers. they got a lot of stuff going on in their life. You'd like them to be focused, but man, they can't be focused for three minutes, let alone for an entire practice or an entire week or an entire season. So they have to know that there's a road that you believe can help make them a better player. It involves communication, which is so critical. It involves encouraging a team view that the players know they can make mistakes and they're not going to get shredded for it that they can make a mistake and that's okay. Now, when I played, you made a mistake and the coach told you you were, you know, you made a brutal play. The coach told you that you didn't understand. The coach ripped you and that was okay because we didn't know any different. And now we know that that's not, that's not the way to reach anybody. Nobody wants to be yelled at. Nobody wants to be scolded in front of their team. Nobody wants to be embarrassed. Once, you, once a player is embarrassed, they start to check out. And once they check out, then you got a real problem. Like when I talk about being a better coach, it all sounds really preachy. Oops, sounds really preachy to me. And, and I, don't, I don't really like that. It's, you know, it it kind of turns me off a little bit too, too much in the clouds, if you will. I believe that the core of a player-coach relationship, more than anything, is the coach has to treat the player as much as it might be difficult, like he would want to be treated by his superior. So you do that with respect, that the kid's trying his best, even when there's some days when he's not. You have to give him the benefit of the doubt that, okay, most days he's engaged, he's trying to be better, he's doing the best that he can. They've got to have the view that you're there for the player, that you've got their back, because lots of times they're looking for that. They're looking for somebody to have their back and that you care about them. That, that goes, you know, this goes a long way uh, to keeping a player engaged. Because a tuned out player means only one thing. That means you've got to find a new way to reach him. Because it's not on the kid, it's on you. The kid's going to turn you out, tune you out, and that means you've got to find a new way to, to get to him. You can't quit. I mean, as easy as it, or frustrating as it might be, to try and reach a kid that doesn't quite get it, you've got to find a new way. Because there is a way. <laughs>